The Samsung Galaxy S8 houses a 3000 mAh battery. The newly released HTC U11 also houses a 3000 mAh battery. Today I'll be conducting a charge up test, battery fill up test, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Place your bets. What is bet? Which hits 100% battery first, the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the HTC U11? I don't care. Whatever Arnold, then don't watch. You are For this test, both phones were drained to 0%. Each phone will use its respective charger and USB-C cable to charge up to 100%. After 15 minutes of charging, the S8 hits 17%, the U11 23%, a 6% lead over the S8. And after 30 minutes, the gap widens. The S8 at 35%, the U11 52%, the HCC now with a 17% lead, its battery over halfway filled to the top. At 1 hour, the S8 hits 70%, the U11 85%, cutting the gap down to 15. And at 1 hour and 30 minutes, the S8 hits 96%, tying the U11 and closing that 15% gap. Five minutes later, the S8 now takes a 1% lead at 97%, the U11 96. But three minutes later, at one hour and 38 minutes, the HTC U11 fills up to 100%, indicated by the notification light turning green. At around an hour and 40 minutes, the S8 reaches 98%. And checking the phone at an hour and 45 minutes, the S8 hits 100%. You'll notice though, it's still charging. A few seconds later, the red notification light goes away and the screen pops up to let you know the phone's fully charged. Either way, I was pleasantly surprised to see the S8 catch up so quickly, and then finish just a few minutes after the U11's full charge. But that isn't the quickest charge for a 3000 mAh battery. Back in December, I did this same test with the OnePlus 3, and just in case you were wondering, the OnePlus 3 filled to 100% at 1 hour and 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes faster than the U11 and about 25 minutes faster than the S8. Either way, as important as it is to quickly charge a phone, it's also just as important to see which holds its charge the longest. I'll be doing a drain test in the very near future. Stay tuned. You lose, American ass. <laughs>